Hello, I pray that you are well today. The world is a broken place. What about brokenness? Broken relationships, broken lives, broken marriages, broken families, broken hearts, broken homes. The scripture uses this language. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 19, in Christ, God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting people's sins against them. In Christ, God was reconciling the world. God was putting the brokenness back together to himself. And in the midst of it, not counting people's sins against them. How much brokenness you have in your life. You know, when I was a child, my mom collected, my father helped her vases, antique vases, carnival glass vases. And I remember my brothers and I playing ball in the house for some unknown reason and we broke a vase. And then we tried to glue it back together so she wouldn't be able to know and we could just tell that she would figure it out. I don't know if she actually figured it out because of the smell of the glue and she looked around, but I'll tell you, even though the glue bottle said, looks like new. It didn't look like new. It looked like we had broken it and it was pieces put back together. But God says to you and to me that God puts all the pieces back together just like new. God restores. God redeems. God blesses. God gives grace. In Christ, God was reconciling the world to himself. He was putting the pieces together by himself. That, that God, that Jesus Christ is the glue. Jesus Christ is the glue for your marriage. Jesus Christ is the glue for your family. Jesus Christ is the glue for your heart. Jesus Christ is the glue for your dreams, your broken dreams. Jesus Christ is the glue. In Christ, God was putting all the pieces back together and, in fact, not counting people's sins against them. God doesn't keep score. God doesn't hold things against you. God doesn't say, remember that time when you did this? And remember that time, God actually says, as far as east is from the west, so far shall your sins be. You can have a confidence and a certainty that in Jesus Christ, God is not keeping score. God's not writing things down in a book and saying, you, I'm going to hold you accountable for that because Jesus was held accountable for my life and for your life. Consider this. God has said he's with us and he was, has been and continues to put the pieces of life back together. How many broken people do you know? Are you a broken person? God is a God who restores. God is a God who gives grace. God is a God who glues things back together. God is a God who doesn't just forgive. God gives restoration and God intentionally forgets what we have done. I want you to know, what about brokenness? What about? What about your brokenness and my brokenness? The answer, the true answer for brokenness is Jesus. Let's pray. Dear God, we pray for the brokenness that people feel, that we feel, that we experience. And we pray that you would, in your grace, give grace to be able to to restore, to reconcile, to put pieces back together, and that there would not be keeping a record of wrongs, but rather covered over in the blood of Jesus Christ. We thank you and we worship you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you today. God's graced you today.